It's no secret that digestive troubles are robbing millions of us of joy on a daily basis. Despite being having access to more drugs, pills, autoimmune rem remedies and protocols, herbs, the problem just getting worse and worse and worse. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think that is. Coming at this whole issue of digestion from a different angle, much more of a holistic approach. Now, the main reason is this has become such an issue is that we don't live a balanced lifestyle. We don't take care of our sleep. We don't take care of our mental, emotional resilience. We don't take care of our exercise habit. We don't eat real food. All that is affecting our digestion. And generally, the Western medical approach to these issues involves not addressing any of the above mentioned things. Now, if we think about what digestion entails and what can make it go sideways, adding a poisonous toxin or supplement that's gonna stop your production, hydrochloric acid, is generally not the answer. I've seen great results. People just living like human beings again. And generally that includes getting three things in order. And I'm gonna share those three things with you. These three things and by no means are gonna represent everything that could be going wrong with your digestion. You get these three things on lockdown, I promise you're gonna feel a lot better. Give you some tips on how to put these three things into play right away and make them habit in your life so if that sounds like something that's going to interest you it's going to benefit you stick around till the end got something for you before you forget hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell i'm sure you're not the only one you know with digestive issues so go ahead and share this with a friend too all right let's get started when is the last time that you ate a meal in a calm peaceful environment when was the last time you ate a meal when you weren't stressed and hurried have you paid attention to how many times you've actually chewed your food recently so that's gonna be focus number one. When we get stressed out, our digestion starts to fail. And if we're in states of chronic stress, we don't have to think very long and hard about why that's gonna mess up our digestion, now do we? So for 30 days, I want you to try this for every single meal. Put on some nice soft music, piano music, meditation music, whatever you prefer. But you're gonna find a quiet, calm place where there's no stress, there's no work, there's no distractions. If you have to, tell people to leave you alone for 20 minutes. You're gonna eat slow, calm, and mindfully. You're gonna notice how your breath rate slows down. Notice how you start to chew your food a little bit more. How wound up your mind actually is when you give it the space to unwind. Number two, how aware are you of the subconscious stress and anxiety that you're carrying around on a daily basis? We all have our emotion drug of choice, whether it be anxiety, anger, sadness. We all have one that we go to when things aren't going well. A big part of the work I do is personality work, and within that personality work, we can get down to how someone's getting stuck, how they're creating what we call patterns in their life. And we get stuck in these patterns because we find common things that we're not comfortable with. And then that's when we create the anxiety, we create the anger, we create the sadness. It's really just a resistance, and that's why we get stuck. There is a number of micro stressors in our life that just compound and add up to the things that we weren't able to unpack and assimilate. While we all have these issues to deal with, to the de degree that we actually suffer from them or they actually inhibit us to the point of affecting our digestion, directly correlated with our level of awareness, subconscious stressors. For instance, someone that's type A, highly energetic, can't sit still, when they get stuck, when they get frustrated, when they don't know what to do, it's gonna manifest in completely different behavior than someone else who's more introverted, tends to isolate and really tends to ruminate on things inwardly. They're both exhausting in their own ways. They both ramp up our stress levels. We all have these traits in us and have to get to the point of being harmful or detrimental to us. We have direct control and direct power over that. One thing you can do before you start enrolling in some sort of personality management coaching program or self-development work, if you're not ready for that yet, simply keep a journal of your triggers, so to speak. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna carry around with you. You can write in it one time a day, twice a day, three times a day, the more the merrier. You're just gonna think about what triggered you today? What got you anxious? What got you mad? What got you feeling sad? What zapped your energy? You're gonna ask yourself, do I know what caused that? Do I know if this is part of my pattern? Do I do this often? In what ways does this keep me stuck? Do you have a good plan for dissolving it faster and more efficiently in the future? You do this every day for the course of 30 days and you won't be able to help but change. And the third thing is really relevant to the opening of this video and that, and that is, do you have enough enzymes, electrolytes, acid, probiotics within your gut biome? See, what doctors like to do is you come in and complain of heartburn. You might have gas, constipation, be constipation, diarrhea combination. The only thing that doctor hears for some reason is heartburn. And so what do they do? They give you acid reducers proton pump inhibitors. You have a lot of proton pumps in your body and they're not just for producing stomach acid, guys. 
So if you shut off all your proton pumps, you're shutting off the proton pump's ability to do its job fully. So you need to look into that. And a lot of them, they'll do that without testing your stomach acid. So if someone's got low stomach acid, which is very prevalent, an acid reducer is kind of like putting off supply of water to a fire truck during a fire. The digestive process, a brief overview, is it starts with chewing, and while we chew, we intermix saliva, which saliva has enzymes in it. It also gives a signal to the body and the gut, start producing hydrochloric acid, and what kind of enzymes it's gonna release based on what you're eating. So there's different enzymes for fats, proteins, carbohydrates. So that's the beginning of the digestion process. Then we swallow it and it goes into the stomach, and as it goes into the stomach, then it starts combining with enzymes, probiotics, and hydrochloric acid to begin breaking the food down. And these enzymes and probiotics are very important. If we eat non-foods, if we eat foods that are processed and denatured, then by the time they get into our body, our body needs to add its own reserves of minerals, electrolytes, enzymes to that non-food, assimilated, broken down, and assimilated as real food. So as we do that, if we the more processed foods we eat, then we don't have that energy for exercise, we don't have that energy for recovery, we don't have the energy for sex and enjoyment and fun. You might need to supplement with some sort of enzymes, probiotics, and hydrochloric acid. There's a link in the description of this video. One simple way to test your level of stomach acid is when you wake up first thing in the morning, mix about four to six ounces of water, a quarter to a half teaspoon of baking soda, mix it in there, drink it. If you're not belching within two to three minutes, then you have low stomach acid. That's a simple, easy test. Now, if we think about what happens, most people eat non-foods, and this is why not testing stomach acid is ridiculous. Most people eat non-foods, so they're depleted of enzymes and probiotics. And but it sits there and we don't have enough stomach acid to digest it. It's not real food, so it's not really being assimilated and absorbed into the body like normal. We're probably constipated if we've eaten a lot of that. So it's not absorbing into our bloodstream, even if it was broken down. And we don't have enough stomach acid to break it down. We don't have enough enzymes to turn it into bioavailable food sources for the mitochondria in our cells. And then we get an overabundance of bacteria, fungus, and parasites. And then that's when the digestive process starts to slow down. Now, if we add a bunch of mental stress on top of that, then the problem only gets worse. Now, if we feel like crap, the gut-brain connection creates sad feelings. It creates poor mood within us. And that only adds to the stress. So this is a big cycle. This is a big loop. That's why we've got to address it at all levels. We've got to address it with our mental, emotional resiliency. We've got to eat real species-specific food. We've got to move like human beings. We've got to get good sleep and good time to introspect. So those little minor stressors and, and anxious moments don't turn into big compiled conflated messes as you take care of those three things do it for 30 days give it a shot do it for 30 days eat in a calm environment turn on some really calm music notice how your breathing changes notice how you chew your food more start recording a journal take a journal of all your anxious moments all the triggers throughout the day and ask yourself those very important questions where did it come from? Is this part of my pattern? Is this part of the reason why I get stuck? Do I have a good plan to keep this from turning into a big mess later on down the road? In other words, can I dissolve it more efficiently and more quickly the next time? Look at your need for supplementation. Generally, supplementation is something that you only need for a few months and then after that you can get back to normal. For sticking around to the end of this video, like I said, I've got something for you in the description of this video. Just click on the link fly link to get a free copy of your anti-inflammatory autoimmune friendly recipe guide and cookbook. Deadly effective for weight loss. It's great for food rotation and it's great for improving your digestion. Don't have to live with poor digestion any longer. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, please share it with them as well. All right, peace, much love and well.